guys, welcome back to my channel. Apologies for the lateness of this video this week. Um, I wanted to do a quick short review on Olaplex because I of course changed my hair up. Um, I did mention it already and it is in process of going lighter which is why it's this quite warm, fairly orange burnt umber kind of shade. So it's not going to be staying this way. Although the colour is actually grown on me. I think I'd prefer the colour if it wasn't the two-tone thing. But anyhow, I did use Olaplex. So when I was in the hairdresser, um, I have, of course, naturally very dark hair, as you can see, but I would have had a bit of a build-up from um, semis being applied, you know, every maybe two, you know, three or four months um, on top, more or less my own colour, but just for a richer colour. And um, they can take a while to shift. So we put on the strongest bleach they had in the salon for, you know, as long as they were comfortable leaving it, leaving it on. And um, this was as light as it went. It was, it's pretty light and I'm happy enough with how it came out because I know that of course it'll go much lighter next time. And I did, I wasn't sure how much root I wanted initially. So I said, you know, we'll give a good, good bit of root. Didn't know what I wanted to do with my fringe. So I don't really love, I mean, it's actually okay. It's grown on me a lot more now because I've had this done for just over two weeks. Um, when I first got it done, I was like, oh, I really don't like the two-tone like dark fringe and lighter hair it has definitely grown on me but I think I will continue and have much less root less time next time I mean I do want a little bit of root but much less root when he did my hair as well um it was in zenith and it was max who did it for me so really highly recommend him he really knows what he's doing um I did get a bit of a semi in the root which I or in the top which I kind of wish I didn't now just because I know I, yeah, I definitely want to get, you know, it brought up so it would be easier if there was nothing in there. But I've been using head and shoulders to try and um, just shift some of that semi because that is going to shift in colour. Anyhow, let's go back to this. So I did ask for Olaplex in the salon. So that in Zenith, anyhow, in Galway, that adds 20 euro onto your in-salon um, treatment price. So um, that's not too bad at all. You get... Uh, number one and two. I'll explain a little bit about Olaplex from what I know of it in a minute. And then I got the take home number three treatment afterwards and that is 40 euro. So that was adding 60 euro pretty much onto the whole treatment. Now that might seem like a fair bit because you're, you know, you're handing over quite a big chunk of money on top of what you're already paying. Um, but I think it's definitely worth it. So I've had my hair extensively bleached throughout the years, especially when I was younger and I used to do it myself all the time plus having it done in salon. So I know the difference between having both. Um, and it's never, and I mean this, and I'm not just saying it because I've no reason to say it, it's never felt this good ever after being bleached. Um, now I realize it's obviously only the one go, but I've had my hair bleached in salons before and obviously without Olaplex and it would feel drier, there'd be a change in texture absolutely none so what i did today was i just washed my hair and i did use the olaplex treatment i've only used it twice in the two just over two weeks that i've had it done because you're supposed to use it once a week in between chemical treatments to help keep the bonds together and i'll explain what that means in a sec but um even like regardless of whether i use this or not when I wash my hair my hair still feels really really good in that like it just feels the same as it did so I washed my hair today and I just let it dry naturally so you can see that it's still in really really good nick because in the past I have bleached my hair and anyone who bleaches their hair will tell you that it does generally change the texture of your hair and it can make it a lot more frizzy so that drying it naturally often isn't an option when I say naturally I mean just with no heat I don't like to use heat on my hair and I haven't used heat on my hair today and it's in really really good nick now I did use this guy here which is from Lee Stafford it's their argan oil ultra hydration lotion it's just like a, an oil-based serum you put on afterwards but um even without that because I don't use it every time I wash my hair, and my hair is still in really, really good nick. So I'm really impressed with the quality of my hair. It doesn't seem to be breaking off and snapping off, um, which is something I would have noticed in the past. I had a really good gander at the end of the roots, and there doesn't seem to be um, the split ends that I would tend to get with bleaching as well. So, so far for the first bleach, it is doing brilliantly. Like, I honestly think it feels the exact same, if not better, possibly because of the Olaplex, than it did before I bleached it. Um, so what I will be doing is after my next session, I'll probably go back in another two weeks to get the next lot done, or two or three weeks depending on what money I have, um, and then I'll 
I'll get the Olaplex again in the salon. I'll still have plenty of this because after two uses of this, it's down to here. So even though it looks like a tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny little bottle for 40 quid, you will use very little every go. So I mean, if that's after two weeks, that'll probably be a month. You'll probably get a good three or four months out of this, which isn't too bad. So about a tenner a month. Um, and I will come back then after my next go. And if I need a third go, because I would like to go a bit crazy, since my hair is short now, I can mess around with my hair a little bit more because I'm happy to keep trimming it if needs be, if it isn't by condition. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to play around with it and try something different with my hair. And so far, I all I can say is that my hair has never felt this good after bleaching. Like, it's it just no difference. If And if any, it feels better, which is um, something I've never said before. And I still have my natural, natural like, kink to it, the natural natural texture is there, um, which is good. So um, if you don't know about Olaplex, basically it's this three part system and it's not like traditional treatments. Don't think of it in terms of treatments. It's not something that just coats the hair to make it appear more healthy or to maybe help the hydration levels of the skin. It actually, okay, so when you bleach your hair, it breaks down these bonds in your hair, which is what makes it look frazzled and crap. And now I'm not gonna talk about it too much, just Google it and you'll find so much information on the in internet about it. But what Olaplex does is it not only helps prevent the breakage of these bonds in your hair, it actually helps to repair them. So it's brilliant to use, especially on relatively healthy hair when you're starting to bleach it because prevention will always be better than cure. Um, if your hair is already like ridiculously frazzled to the point of no return, Olaplex probably won't do much for it, but it's great for anyone who does want to start the bleaching process or if your hair is like minimally damaged um, and then protect it. This is definitely the way forward. So um, yeah, all I can say is I think it's worked amazing. You can see my hair there pretty much as it is. Um, I will come back of course and let you know how it is going forward. And um, I'll be back then to let you know how it goes the next time I bleach my hair. So, I mean, I don't expect it to maybe stay as brilliant the longer I go, because obviously the more you bleach it, the more compromised your hair is possibly going to get. But um, so far, so good, and I'm really impressed with it. So I just realized, A, this is on automatic focus, so apologies if it's jumping all over the place, and I am forgot to say how to use this. So basically, I know I said to use it once a week. What you do is you wet your hair and you towel dry it so you don't actually wash it. Then you pop this in for, it says minimum of 10 minutes. I leave it in for like a good half an hour to an hour um, just to let it work its thing. And then you just rinse it in shampoo and condition as usual. So that's how you use the take home um, treatment. And then in salon, they use the number one mixed in with the bleach. And then number two is what they put in at the stage when you're at the basin, at toning stage, if you know what I mean. So that's how they actually use the Olaplex. Now, what next? Oh yeah, I just wanted to mention as well, I've just added a couple more bits onto my Etsy store. So I've made some chokers. I was actually on the hunt for chokers for ages and I was like, you know what, I'll just make my own. So these are, this is a vegan choker that I've made. It's faux suede, but there are real leather ones up there as well. And as usual, these are all sterling silver um, findings that I've used with them. So I'm really, really happy with how they turned out. There's a few available. And then this guy here as well, which I'm loving. This is black rhodium. Um, it's one of my mandala, mandala um, pendants and there's a couple of these available. I think there's a gold one left there as well. So if you want to check that, I will leave the link here. And in the meantime, I'll just see you next week. I'm going to try and make sure it's up on Friday on time for my next video. Um, it's definitely going to be a makeup tutorial. I was thinking maybe doing a cut crease. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know. And just have a good weekend in the meantime and a good week. And I'll see you all next week. Thanks a million for watching, guys. And I'll see you then. See you then.